Wapo. But you have money. <laughs> but although they are richer, we Filipinos are a lot smarter. I realized this after writing their MTR, which is their equivalent of the MRT. See, they couldn't even figure out that the R goes before the T, huh? I had to explain it to them. And when you write the MTR in Hong Kong, you hear a lot of crazy announcements, things you don't really need to listen to unless you're really dumb. Things like, welcome to Liking Station, please mind the gap, those will open to your left, next station, Meifu, in Nimo Mok, Liking Station. Me and my brother, I don't know. So in the Philippines, when the train is about to stop, nobody tells you. Uh, when the train is about to arrive, you don't hear any announcements, huh? All you hear is a gust of wind. Guadalupe Station. Deme Kamoni. Nobody has to tell me that my doors will open to my left. I'm pretty sure because on the other side is a wall. And when the train is about to arrive in Hong Kong, you hear a lot of announcements too. Things like, the train to Sunny Bay will arrive in two minutes. Then a stopwatch comes out from the wall. 158, 157, 156, 155, 154, 53, 0, 0, 0. The train to Sunny Bay has arrived. Please let passengers collide first. In the Philippines, when the train is about to arrive, nobody tells you it's about to arrive, you just feel that it's about to arrive. <laughs> you might ask around, No, no, I'm scared out of the plane. I'm scared, I'm not going to Then as soon as it's about to stop the guard, Tabi, Tabi, I'm the hat! You're the lead, Tabi! And when you're riding the LRT in the Philippines, sometimes the train doesn't even bother to stop. It will assume, it will appear that it's about to stop, but the driver inside is like, I don't know what I'm going to do. What type of thing do you do? The driver is like, Tama boss, what do you think? Tama, can you just say what opinion you have? Then you're like waiting, oh, you know, but here it comes. Shh. 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 Then you hear an announcement. Pakiusap sa mga hindi nakasabay. Pakihantay na lang ang susunod na train. Yeah. Okay, I'm a patient guy. I wouldn't mind waiting for the next train because I know that if I wait a few minutes, another train will be right in front of me shortly. I'm actually worried about the people in the train. The people who wanted to get off the train. <laughs> now did somebody talk to them? Alam mo dito ako bumababa araw-araw eh. Okay. Parang hindi tumitigil. Ah, baka kasi wala naman kasi sasakay. Eh, baka ba nga ako eh. Hindi <laughs> kasi, titigil yan. Don't worry sir, titigil. Hindi nga tumitigil. Ah! Now, did they hear an announcement? Pakiusap sa mga hindi nakababa. Sa susunod na babaan ka na lang bumaba. <laughs> Kahit hindi ka naman doon papunta. Eh, I don't do stand-up comedy full-time. I do have a day job. By my secret identity, no? I teach English to Koreans. They're pretty much like us Filipinos, except that they're Korean. <laughs> it's actually a test of patience waiting, working with these individuals, because after months and months of grammar training, subject, verb, object, I still get wacky sentences like, from Brian, my student, Brian, please talk to the class. Teacher, now. <laughs> yeah, now. Help me, help me, please. Help me. Okay, what do you want to do over the weekend? Teacher, my cut, you, me, together, walking, power plant, this Sunday, is okay? Vegan <laughs> demon. And you should read the text messages I received from these people. Teacher, I'm in airport now, never coming back. My heart is blood. I will sad forever. You are my inspiration. My email, brian at yahoo.com. Email me always. Let's keep on touching. <laughs> and I had to reply to him, could this be true love? Actually, sometimes 
I likened them to that hologram from iRobot. You know that scene where the dead guy comes out as a hologram and he goes, I'm sorry, my responses are limited. You have to ask the right questions, right? Sometimes I'm like, so what does your father do for a living? Father? Uh, doctor, doctor. Okay. Well, uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? What kind of degree do you want to take, huh? I'm sorry, my responses are limited. You have to ask the right question. But I'm a nice guy. I decided to buy myself a Berlitz CD. You know those language discs that teach you the language? Because I wanted to, you know, better service my students, learning a little Hangul. So I got me that, put it in my component, and I'm like, press track H. Ding dong ding dong 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 dong. So, you want to learn some Korean, huh? Well, listen to this. Good morning. Annyeong haseyo. Hey, that sounds simple enough. Good evening. Annyeong haseyo. Hello there. Annyeong haseyo. Wait a minute now, huh? I'm like, this is not helping me out. Might as well go to track 13. Would you like to go out for a walk? Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, something for the ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ding! Peter, Micah, you, me, together, Loki, Power Plus, this Sunday, it's okay? I'm not a demon! Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. I've actually attempted to write a book before, but I've never really got into do it. I'm that lazy. But I love reading. I read my first book when I was in grade 3, Lady Chatterley's Lover, and The Thorn Birds when I was in grade 5. <laughs> it really changed my life. But seriously, I love it when they have movies based on books, because you always hear the same thing from the experts. What do you hear from the pundits when there's a movie based on a book, huh? Their favorite thing. You know what? The movie was good, but the, the book was a lot better, huh? Right? Every time. My dad, not father, mas okay yan sa book. And everybody will say so. Even the people who never read the book. Ah, uh, Twilight. Okay naman yung movie, pero mas okay yung book. Okay, why? What happened in the book? Hindi ko alam eh, nung high school ko pa nabasa ko siya. Panoorin mo na lang yung movie. But really, going here to Fashion and Art, we got stuck in really heavy traffic because of all the cab drivers. Actually, it's really ridiculous here in the Philippines. Are you from around here, sir? No? Where are you from? California. California. Okay, have you tried riding the cabs here in the Philippines? Uh, no. No, good. Congratulations. Good for you. <laughs> It's really, in the Philippines, let me just warn you, being a good citizen, uh, somebody from tourism, uh, it's impossible to get, get a cab here in the Philippines. There are certain steps. First, you have to try to stop them. Boss, taxi! Ah, boss, Ah, sorry, makati lang ako eh. Makati lang ako. When you do stop them, you have to pray that they agree to take you to wherever it is that you want to go. Uh, boss, can you take me to Quezon City? Quezon City? Say, I'm lying, Ronnie. Gagarahi, I'm way. You saw Ronnie, I'm way to 300. Well, it's not about Gagarahi. It's a Gason City. I'm lying, Ronnie. Oh, I'm sorry, let me translate that for you. <laughs> <laughs> or will your friend do it for you later? Okay, okay. Moving on. Huh? <laughs> Actually, I've come to realize that we have different kinds of cab drivers here in Nati Manila. We've got the frustrated crime fighter slash political analyst. He's got all these stickers on his dashboard. Bantay bayan, bantay bata, bayan ko sa gusto po, bantay ang dutiang Pilipinas, FPJ 2004, Hinebra na. And he's listening to the AM radio, doing his commentaries, but really he's just repeating everything that the disc jockey is saying. Bayan, wala na talagang pagastong bayan natin. Yeah, wala na talagang pag-asa itong bahay natin. 
Kanya-kanya kasi tayo, kanya-kanya kasi tayo sir. Pag ganito ng ganito, aalis na ako ng Pilipinas. Saan ka naman lilipad? Sa Baguio. Para po malamig. 